I came back from talking to the prophet of probability, and since I had too much stuff in my bag, I figured I might as well sell some to Hunter. But the thing that really caught my attention was before I go and tell the administrator who I think is the murderer, let me talk to this guy, see if he can give me some Welcome insight. Back. What can I do you for? I'm investigating the murder of Halcyon Helen. Have you seen or heard anything unusual lately? Unusual? This whole land complex is a failed wildlife exhibition turned hunting reserve. You can't go ten feet without stepping in unusual. But I reckon you're asking about people unusual. I'd go have a chat with the prophet of profitability. Maybe she can intuit you in the right direction or something. But she is mighty far in the depths of the reserve. Perhaps you should purchase one of my fine armaments for the journey. Is this really the best place for a shop? better to sell hunter supplies than in the depths of the wilds, surrounded by creatures that are just waiting to devour you. I've got an excuse, but the Prophet and her retreat don't, and they're even farther out. Prophet said I should gift her some rifles to improve my aura or something. I told her what she could do with her aura. Haven't spoken to her since. But you look like you're smart enough to not make a decision that she'll invariably regret. Interesting name your shop has. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. It is a perfectly normal name for a shop dispensing hunter supplies. Uh, do you mean hunting supplies? Like the sign above your shop says? No. These are supplies for hunters. Hunter supplies. It works either way. I... It works either way. Boy, damn it. I wish I thought to get that sign switched out when I changed my name. Excuse me. Oh, hey there, stranger. Don't mean to interrupt your business, but uh, have you seen a stray mechanical wandering about? I've overheard your conversation earlier. You want to explain exactly what's happening? Seems I'm running my mouth too much. My mechanical Betty up and wandered away a couple days back. I've been trying to track her, but the beasts make it hard. Personally, I prefer my organs inside my body. The shopkeep says I should buy one of his rifles and go looking myself. But like my machine, I'm not combat inclined. We can help her out, right? Won't take too long if we're on the job. I know it's a pain, but I think I need some outside help. Job or no job, I'm not leaving Betty out in the wastes. What kind of mechanical is your lost charge? Betty's just your standard tripod mechanical. Though she probably is still wearing my hat. <laughs> Without it, she seems kind of naked. Her main purpose is cacao milking, but the only cacaos in the reserve are close. Without a directive, she shouldn't have had reason to wander away from the milking area. Like those bolt buckets need a reason to do anything. It's probably searching the world for more things to milk. Wouldn't make any sense. Ain't no cacaos out there. Betty's smarter than that. I don't think mechanicals could just wander off on their own. I'm contractually obligated to inform you that slug mechanicals are not notoriously inclined to malfunction and any rumors to the contrary are slander. But yeah, usually even slug machines don't get lost on their own, so I guess I'm to blame. Setting Betty's search parameters is my job. Must have added a zero where I shouldn't have. That don't usually happen by accident. I think she's trying to pull one over on us. Are you sure? Mechanicals malfunction, but all this feels a little unusual. Hey, I ain't in the habit of intentionally losing company property. That'd be one hell of a violation. Besides, I'm rather fond of Betty. 
This is all just an unfortunate cycle of events. If you can help rectify it and get me my Betty back, I'll give you everything I got. I'll keep my eye out for any suspicious mechanicals. Hey, thanks so much. It would have been mighty lonely without her. Uh, being unemployed, I mean. Be lonely being unemployed. <laughs> if you find Betty, try sneaking up and hacking her. If you can't do that, finding a way to stop her current routines should send her back home. Okay, let me just... Okay, let me just take a look at my quest quickly to see where I can find Betty exactly. Okay, so where would Betty be? Oh! She's literally 168 meters away from here. Alright, so let me pick up my gun here. And let's go find Betty. I'm gonna try and hack her like the girl suggests, but... Worst case scenario, I might need to shoot her down. And I don't want to, because it seems like this Betty person, or this, sorry, this Betty mechanical means a lot to her. Um, let me see. I'm going to try and sneak the other way. Oh, shit. These things are gonna be a pain in the ass. You guys, let's go. Come on, Nokia! To shreds, you say? Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. Are you okay? Why are you screaming like that? Yo, are you good? Are you okay? You scared me. Like, you shouldn't be screaming that crazy, that loud. Alright, so where's Betty? Betty. Oh. I guess Betty cancelled her... Her little job since I killed off all of those animals. So let me return back to Betty's handler. This is Betty? Malta cows detected nearby. Returning to slug maintenance worker. Oh my god, and she has the hat too. That is so funny. Oh my god, this is Betty, you guys. Ha! That is so funny. Okay, all right. Let me let me go back. Betty looks so adorable. I'm I'm not gonna lie. She looks so cute with the little hat on. Hey, I almost can't believe it. Betty found her way back. Here I was thinking I'd never see her again. One malfunctioning mechanical, as promised. She was trying to milk Kenneth. Oh, Betty, you big goof. What were you thinking in that little metal noggin of yours? You nearly worried me to death. And you, ain't yeah. you just the most reliable freelancer in the colony? Let me just take a look at Betty here and we'll talk about payment. Yep, that's right. Her parameters for movement and target acquisition are a mess. I'll bring her back to the garage and get her sorted out. Since Betty's back safe and sound, I'll be sure to let my co-workers know that you're a good one. Here's some money for your effort. Least I can do to show my thanks. Try to keep an eye on her this time. Oh, I won't be turning my back on Betty again, believe me. Thanks again for all your help. You really saved us both from the edge. All right, moment of truth. I'm gonna go over my evidence one more time. Just to make sure I'm not missing any details, but I do have an idea on who's the murderer here. What floor would you like to visit? Bring me to the penthouse suite. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. All right. You think they'd object to me setting up a tanning station here? Cut it out. There's, um, there's no room service, right? 
All right, let me go over my evidence one more time here. This board is covered with a loose collection of photographs and papers. Something is rotten on Eridano's. With every step of your investigation, you come closer to the truth. There's a killer loose on Eridano's. Ruth Bellamy, universally known by her role as Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals and Duchess of Drama Turi, Helen was killed in the Grand Colonial Hotel Ballroom. Dr. Laura Blossom, head of research at the RR and DD labs, located in the Purple Berry Orchids. Dr. Blossom's lab was under attack by her own technicians. During the chaos, an unknown assailant murdered her. He listened to her final moments over an intercom. Constable Maria Keene, killed at her desk. The nature of her wounds is familiar to her. Something is wrong on Eridano's. With every step of your investigation, you come closer to the truth. Loose ends, critical clues, or red saltuna. This is an exact replica of the needler, Helen's signature weapon. You discover traces of chemicals in Helen's unturned luggage. Someone removed the needler from her belongings. Spectrum Brown, Rizzo's newest flavor of Spectrum Vodka, or a disaster waiting to happen. At the bottom of each bottle lies the corpse of a parasitic life form, guaranteed to enhance flavor and improve your mood. Hmm. Interesting. After Helen's murder, authorities placed a lockdown on all incoming and deporting spacecraft. You are, as far as you know, the only exception. Jasmine Levia, the prophet of profitability, holds a retreat in the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve, not far from the hotel. Wealthy patrons are encouraged to enjoy the hotel enemies when they're not busy purging themselves of harmful, unprofitable humors gathered inside their anatomy. The business end of Sublight Underground, something of a misamir, as Sublight Underground's operatives are about as high above ground as any location in Halcyon. The Purple Berry Orchids are, are responsible for growing and cultivating the Rizzle's property Purple Berry, an essential ingredient in the majority of Rizzle's confections Rizzle's workers seem uncomfortably happy all the time. The Rizzo's RR and DD lab, formerly operated by Dr. Lorena Blossom, Helen's trail leads you to the RR and DD lab, but when he arrived, something had driven its lab technicians to a violent frenzy. Huh, okay. So... In that case, let's examine my suspects. Who could have killed Halcyon Helen? What was their motives? Black Hole Birdie Holcomb, the hole mister, the hack attack. Birdie was dating Helen at the time of her death. Could the hot-headed hacker be a cold blood killer? A ruined picnic at the Purple Bear Orchids. A tossball stick snapped in half. Were they arguing? Did Birdie lose control of his temper? Okay, so Spencer. Spencer Woolwich, the supporting actor to the colony's leading woman, was Halsey and Helen's old rival responsible for sending her into retirement? He discovered incriminating footage of the hotel kitchen. While Chief Enwar looks away, Spencer Woolwich can be seen tempering with Helen's food. A standard recording of special requests made by hotel guests, including in the list, a curious request for a predatory gland on behalf of Mr. Spencer Woolwich. The request was fulfilled. Okay. 
Jasmine Levina, the prophet of poverty, her seminars on wealth, prosperity, and the alignment of one's humors attract wealthy Byzantines for, to Eridanos. Does the heart of a vicious killer lure beneath her spiritual veneer? The prophet of poverty deploys a curious buquet of herbs in her therapy session. These herbs run the gamut from the bizarre to the exotic. They all share one quality. Their side effects are highly unpleasant and potentially fatal. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground's boss, proprietor of the Grand Colonial Hotel and Imperial Spaceport, Administrator Levito's old rival, killer of Halcyon Helen. The mascot for the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball team, he was in your room, searching through Helen's belongings. Did Black Hole Birdie really send him? Why was he so... terrified? Hmm. All right. At this point, I'm going to draw my conclusion right here. But first, I got to tell him about the profit probability. I finished my investigation into Jasmine Levia, the prophet of probability. Ms. Leva earned that title, but not for the reasons you'd expect. The prophet business has been profitable for the hotel. Not so much for Ms. Leva's followers. So tell me, what did you find? She really wants to be arrested. She wants to be arrested? That's not the kind of behavior I expect from a suspect. Perhaps she's carrying a guilty conscience. Does the Prophet strike you as a reasonable candidate for Helen's murderer? A reasonable candidate? She either did it or she didn't. Of course, Inspector. You know that's what I meant. I'm asking you if you think Jasmine Leva is capable of murdering Helen. I'm still considering my options, but no, I doubt she, Well, actually, maybe. She needs to be detained until I'm done with my investigation. Melissa the Prophet could spell the end of her career. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Thank you for the update, Inspector. I'll include everything you've told me in my official report. I know who killed Halcyon Helen. I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector. Who killed Halcyon Helen? Wait a minute, why would I say you did? Huh. Wait a minute, look at the options. Bernie Holcomb, Jasmine Levia, your old nemesis Cedric. The killer was of none other than Spencer. You did? Huh. Oh my god, this is really hard now, because the thing is... Obviously, Spencer poisoned her, but he said he did not mean to poison her enough to kill her. Jasmine also poisoned her, but she didn't mean to kill her enough either. Hmm. I beg your you did. pardon. You think I killed Halcyon Helen? This this has to be the greatest twist of all time. Come on, think about it. Prophet Paul... The prophet of probability was like, arrest me, arrest me. If you're a killer, why would you want to be arrested so bad? I've got proof. There's nothing to prove. I don't understand. Are you trying to make a mockery of justice, or are you really this incompetent? I expect you to deliver the name of Helen's killer. I expect you to deliver results, Inspector. And if you can't withstand the pressure, then I expect you to resign. We're done. Your services are no longer necessary. You sound pretty defensive, Ludovic, so got something to hide? I'm defensive, Inspector, because I'm under attack. I am assaulted by your perfidious and baseless accusations. You're convinced I murdered Halcyon Helen. Fine. Show me some evidence. Uh, 
I don't need proof my instincts haven't led me wrong before. If you have no <laughs> case, then you have no case, and I have no further use for you. Wait, don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. Inspector, huh? I thought you said my services were no longer required. Forget what I said. I'm renewing your contract as of this moment. Damn it. Someone's interfering with my transmission. Can you read the... Oh, shit. So, guys, um, uh, let's leave. Oh, shit. The security breach. What floor would you like to visit? Uh... The lobby, please. To the lobby we go. Okay, so we are here, and we had to kill off a whole bunch of people and monsters. So let's see what's really going on. That would be a very interesting twist if he was the killer all along. I mean, think about it. Think about it. One person is willing to be arrested and charged for the murder. Come on. And the other two, they try to disable Halsey and Helen, but they were just stupid enough to, to put in more than a lethal amount. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Think about it. There's two coincidences of two people putting more than a lethal amount. It has to be him. You know what would be an even bigger, bigger twist? If Halcyon Helen wasn't dead and this whole thing was just a fake act. <gasps> Halcyon Helen's alive? It's you. I had a feeling you'd catch up to me sooner or later, Inspector. I was just hoping you'd find me standing over the administrator's corpse. What in law's name? Halcyon Helen, how are you still alive? I told you, it's a twist! Oh, is that Ludovico I hear? Perfect. I'm so glad he's still in the building. Would you mind letting him know I'm about to blow his whole operation to flinders? Wow. No, that's a fair question. You want to explain how you're still alive? Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the Aperwave industry. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my twin sister, Belinda. Wow, this is a that plot is twist, twist, twist. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. Oh my god. Belinda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. Certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda paid the price. Hmm. Wow. I'm sorry about Belinda. Oh my. I'm sorry I wasn't there for her. I'm sorry I couldn't protect her. Killing the administrator won't bring her back. But it'll feel good. I have no regrets. I did exactly what I had to do. I knew I it! I knew it was you, if bastard! If defending Halcyon's future, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those disgusting parasites. They're not... Parasites! These creatures are symbiotic life forms. They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host, a bliss so pure, so profound, as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. Wow, I can't believe it. 
They're not symbiotes. I've seen the way the affected behave. A host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat. In its natural state, the relationship between symbiote and host is perfectly harmless. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at real happiness. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. That was you in the labs. You killed Dr. Blossom. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. You call it murder? I call it disarming my enemy. I know you killed the ranger's mascot. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I, and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there just watching us with those cold, dead eyes. I found him rummaging through your things. That doesn't surprise me at all. He was on Ludovico's side, just like the others. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keene, that flack wit of a mascot. They were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. You killed Constable Keene? She was on your side. She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but she turned me down. She was honor-bound to report me to Ludovico. Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. We both did what we had to. But in the end, I was the faster shot. I've heard enough. You know what you need to do. Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. Think of the future, Inspector. A lifetime of bliss and joy for every colonist in Halcyon. We can make that happen. Wait, Helen, I still have more questions. You want me to explain my grand plan in the middle of a climactic moment like some two-bit serial villain? Do I look like Spencer Woolrich to you? We've talked enough. You're either with me, or you're with the administrator. I'm helping you, Helen, but once we get out of here, I expect the answers. Wow. I can't believe we're running with Halcy on Helen. We don't have a lot of time. We need to get out of here. Uh-uh, not so fast. I've sealed the bulkhead doors. You're staying right where you are. I'm sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly, I am. If it's any consolation, Helen has brought some remarkably powerful explosives. Your death should be instantaneous. Goodbye, Inspector. Helen, we won't meet again. Damn it. I sealed this in, but I think I know another way out. Follow me and stay close. Let's move. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Head through that door. There's another way out. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on! Okay. Fuck it. Crawl. I'ma crawl. Let's go. Jump! Sealed! Oh. It's about to say no, I'm fucking stuck! Oh, shit! Okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, shit. Lord have mercy. Ooh, this is really intense. I'm not trying to die. He's- I knew it was him the whole time, bro. We made it. Nice work, Inspector. We may have put a stop to 
stop the Ludovico's operations, but he's still at large. He's probably gone into hiding, so we're going to root him out. What's the plan? This entire complex has been exposed to those parasites. Law only knows how many they've infected. Most of them won't even know they're carrying a parasite inside of them. If they're showing symptoms, it's probably already too late. Boundless energy, insufferable joy, an almost saccharine attitude of optimism. Then just like that, parasites bursting out of their bodies. Disgusting. And wriggling with vital energy. Oh lord. Oh lord. There must be some kind of pesticide. Beijing to humans, lethal to parasites? You're a step ahead of me, Inspector. Clearly a woman of many talents. An airborne pesticide of some kind. I think you may be onto something. Let's meet back at your penthouse. We'll ready our next move. I'll meet you there. See you soon, Inspector. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.